Welcome back to Kiki's Customs. I got the Mercedes SL500 project right here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to create a custom door panel. Now the reason we're taking off the nice door panel and throwing some cheap aluminum flimsy stuff on there is because weight savings. So Mercedes door panels from the factory, they usually weigh about 15 to 20 pounds. So times that by two, you got 40 extra pounds you don't need. Plus, my old door panels are ripping and they're falling apart. So we got to make these ricer doors. <laughs> now, if you're still watching the video, pay attention because here are the tools you're going to need. Starting off, the main thing you're going to need is an aluminum panel with a brushed lip or whatever kind of look you want. I got this from Lowe's. Next thing you're going to need an impact or a drill, some self-tapping screws, and a drill bit to take off the old hinges. You're also gonna need some tin snips to cut that thing up, and then you're gonna need some uh, dog leashes. I'll show you what those are gonna do in a second. Now, if you have a rivet gun, get that, because that's gonna make it a lot easier. And then if you don't want that thing to rattle, because that thing is gonna rattle a lot, especially if you play music, get some dyno mat, or get an off-brand version from eBay. That's what I got. Now you're also gonna need a Sharpie because uh, can't go wrong with a Sharpie, but if you wanna take your door panel to the next level and engrave whatever you want into it, uh, your logo, your car, I don't know. That's not painted on, that's part of the metal. Just stay tuned because I'll uh, show you that in a bit too. Now before you start any of that stuff, you're gonna have to take the door panel off. So get yourself a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna take this panel off now you might notice there's no panel because I took this off six months ago. So cue that footage real quick. Now really you should have body panel uh, clip removal tools. It's all these fancy terms you don't, I don't even know what those mean. All you really need is some needle nose pliers. You don't really need those. Some kind of pry bar thing, uh, another pry bar thing, and then one more pry bar thing, and then a spinny thing, you know, screwdriver. All right, first things first, we gotta pop some things off like this uh, mirror panel thing all right so it has a clip here that you pull out and then underneath it just slides up now that we got that off i'm gonna pry this little thing here don't pry it too hard it might explode you know airbags there we go there's that thingy underneath we got a screw inside open this we have another screw underneath here all right so the next screw is actually going to be right here hiding underneath this like that. And we're gonna unscrew this nice shiny little panel thing and then unscrew that. Today, Junior. Just pull that thing off. You wanna be kind of careful for these if you're gonna resell your, your uh, door panels like I am because you can make money off of them like 50 bucks a piece. There is a piece of the door going into these clips. I still haven't gotten out. I'll show you what I mean on the other side. It's basically like a flange. So maybe you have to slide something in there and push it up right here. Uh-oh. I don't know what I did, but it worked. We are going to take off the door handle. It's gonna take some force to get out, but there. Now that that's all disconnected, your door panel is off. With those old door panels removed, you could either keep them, I have no idea why, or you could sell them. I made an extra hundred bucks for selling them, but you wanna make sure you keep your seat controllers or else you won't be able to move your seat. Now that we got that door panel off, we're gonna have to start stripping this thing down. Y'all think this airbag will explode if I cut the wires? The battery's still plugged in, by the way. We're good. Now that we got this thing stripped down and we got the panel right here ready to be put on, the best way I found to do it is. You're gonna wanna line this panel up horizontally to the bottom of the door so it doesn't look crooked. And you're gonna wanna get this edge all the way over. We're gonna throw two screws in here, right here and right here. And then we're gonna take our Sharpie Measure out the curves, right? And then start trimming that. After we get all of that trimmed out, 
We're gonna start on that speaker grill. Trim that out. Bend the top out so it curves with this curve right here. And for the last piece, we're gonna cut out some holes for the door handle to pull the door closed. And then our door handle to open the door. <laughs> now these are the screws we're using. They have a self-tapping drill bit end there and some threads. You don't want anything too long because you're gonna end up going through the door too far. You might hit the window and you might hit the window regulator. So keep it short. It may not be the best way to do it, but it's working. Now that we got this thing trimmed up, we got that speaker cut out right there, and we also got the latch cut out. What we're gonna do now is make some door handles. And after we get those door handles, you could stop there, but what we're gonna do is go an extra step and put some logos inside the door panel. You'll see how we do that. And then we're also gonna sound deaden it with some boom mat so it doesn't rattle when you play music or when you're driving. Just so it's a little bit more professional. Let's get it. All right, so we got some dog leash. It's a nylon strap and it's gonna be about this big. So what we're gonna do, drill a hole right here. Then we're gonna get some heat, heat something up, put a hole through that and then rivet it. Now that we got our door panel masked up with our stencil, what we're gonna be doing is called electrical etching. So what you're gonna need is some salt, some water, you're gonna need some cotton swabs. You wanna soak those in there. What you're also gonna need is a battery, some kind of 12 volt battery. I got a car battery right here. And you're gonna need some wires. Let me show you how this thing works. So you're gonna wanna hook your positive wire to the piece you're working on. Grab a cotton swab that's soaked in salt water, put the negative to it, and all you gotta do is touch the cotton part to the metal piece. Just make sure you don't touch the metal to the metal or else it's gonna spark. And after a couple seconds, we have an engravement. As you can see, it's engraved now. The longer you hold it on there, the deeper it'll carve into that metal. But that is never coming out of there. So now the fun part, all I gotta do is repeat that whole process about 50 more times.
a rush. So we got the door panel engraved. It didn't come out as clean as the last one I did. I think it's because the sticker paper doesn't stick as well to this material. So we have some like, you know, the water went underneath the sticker paper. And then, but other than that, it looks pretty good. And if you're wondering who Keisha is, that is the name I gave to the SL500 because it needed a name. I was going to name it Heartbreaker because it keeps breaking my heart. And that's the first song of the CD that it came with. I'll play that right now. But let's put some sound in and stuff on this thing so we can put it back in the car. Check this out. I thought I was going to have to use a lot of this boom mat. But I threw this big strip on here and then a little bit of these down here. But that's that now. This is before. So I guess that's all you need. And just like that, we have some finished door panels right there. So let's put that back on the car. Thank you guys for watching all the way till the end. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, if you think it's too rice, let me know in the comments because I actually think it's pretty nice. Also, I got another question for y'all. Let me know what wheel you like better. So we have these three pieces right here. They're not polished yet. Still pretty shiny, but I don't really like the look on it. It's kind of like American Muscle. Or should I just keep these rims that I've had on it for a while? Because I think these are like a lot more classy than those three pieces i'm not sure which rim i should keep on the car so i'll let you guys decide if you want the three piece on the car leave a comment for that if you want these classy rims to stay on the car leave a comment whichever one gets more votes i'll keep on the car so definitely let me know in the comments till next time i'm out <laughs>